All right, so this is a blurry photo, but it gives you an idea of the entire ovary. And the cortex out here is where you see everything going on. And out on the outside, there are a bunch of little cells that you can't pick out right now, but these are these primordial cells, and eventually they'll develop kind of in this trajectory and develop into these very large structures here called graphene or tertiary follicles. And so let's just get this guy out of the way. And we will zoom in on this section right here. And we'll take a look at the graphene follicles. And so the graphene follicles is one of the biggest structures. And actually in this same picture, you can see fairly well these primordial follicles all clustered right along here. And it's still hard to see here, but primordial, their key feature is that if we zoom in, they have a little, actually, keep on changing my mind here. Let's go closer. So we are going right here. We're going to zoom in on this area so that we can take a look at these primordial follicles. So these right here are primordial follicles. All of these. In the center here is an oocyte. So that's the actual developing egg, basically. And the follicle, all of these follicles have a squamous border around them. So just to be clear, the follicle is what's holding the oocyte. And see how they're, the border is almost invisible? It's squamous cells surrounding the oocyte. And there's some fluid in the middle here. But surrounding the circle I just made are squamous cells that, hold, that form the edge of the follicles. But eventually, these cells grow. And they develop into something more like that. What is that? So this one is going to be a very small um, secondary follicle. And so the rule that we use, if this were to have a nice, simple layer of cuboidal epithelium, we would call that primary. So simple, simple layer is going to be primary. That's just the rule that we're going to use. Then it eventually will stratify. And this is just barely starting to do it. Then we call it a secondary follicle. This would be another example here. Okay. And then it'll grow bigger and bigger and bigger. And, and you can get multiple layers of, you know, five to maybe even 15 layers of cells and it'll still be a secondary follicle. But then eventually that will turn into this big graphene follicle that we saw over here. So if we get this guy out of the way, we can kind of see how we have the primordials over here. We have some intermediates over here, probably small secondaries in this particular slide. So remember, like, we're making a slide, we're freezing time. So sometimes you're going to catch small graphians and large secondaries, and sometimes vice versa. That's kind of what we see here. We don't see great examples of secondaries, but we see this really nice example of the graphian follicle. So you guys have, is it a vesicular antrum? What's your term? Vesicular or graphian Graphian follicle. Well, oh, I guess you don't have that on there. But so this whole structure around here is called the antrum. Okay. That's like this huge, well-developed uh, vesicle or antrum is what, what you'll always see in a graphian follicle. The other key thing that is on your sheet is a corona radiata. Let me circle that right now. The corona radiata are these special cells that actually surround the oocyte. So they're the inner letter. They're the radiating crown of the oocyte within the graphene follicle. And... Theca? Theca, those are just actually what they call the cells that form the outer layer of the follicle. So I'm circling them here, but they go all the way around. And then the developing oocyte is obviously right in here. Oh, and that's not one? No, so that's, that's part of the primary. follicle. Um, um, not quite, that, that would have been on the outside, but for what we're looking at right here, it's just the graphene follicle, the oocyte's actually right in the middle. Okay. And that's pretty much it for the graphene follicle. Oops, what lines you can't really tell what I'm drawing anymore. And actually over here looks like it could be corpus luteum, mm -hmm. this chunk of tissue right here. It also might be the cortex, I can't really tell. But the other one, your slides, show the corpus luteum really well. That was the thing that you guys already saw. Okay. Sorry, my lines are getting wonked out. So basically, yeah, just remember the rules, these little guys. So where's the secondary growing follicle in like that? Right in here, okay. yep.
Yeah. And that one's squamous mm -hmm. now. It's got a squamous so thing. So, Coronata, sorry, uh, Coronata, you have. 